Subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. The first thing to note about Judgmental Hai Kya is that Shri Ram Raghavan features in the opening credits. The director of the deliciously twisted Andadun is a definite influence on this film, especially the first half. Director Prakash Kovalamudi takes the Raghavan-esque route of a murder to suspects investigating cops and of course, nothing is what it seems. Because our point of view comes from Bobby Botliwala Garewal who is an unreliable narrator. The film begins with her childhood. Bobby is an imaginative but disoriented little girl who sees her father routinely abuse her mother. The childhood trauma shapes her worldview. As an adult, Bobby marches to the beat of a different drummer. She's unapologetically different with no filters or niceties. Her sharp edges are revealed in everything, including her abrupt manner and those distinctive sunglasses. When someone asks about friends, she just says, Zarwat nahi hai. Bobby's Mansik Bimari is identified as acute psychosis and dissociative identity disorder. The Cleveland Clinic describes this as a mental illness that involves disruption or breakdowns of memory, awareness, identity and or perception. Bobby, of course, couldn't be bothered. She throws away her meds and starts lusting after her hunky married tenant. Bobby's job as a voice artist further fuels her flights of fantasy. She becomes the characters she dubs for, imagining entire scenarios, photoshopping herself into them or play-acting them in a photo studio. In short, Bobby is a fascinating, full-blown mess. And if you still don't get how complex her headspace is, writer Kanika Dillon underlines it with a pet, Bobby as a black cat named Panothi or Unlucky. What's wonderful is that Kangana Ranaut and Kanika aren't timid about Bobby's messiness. They don't feel any pressure to make her likable. She's unreasonable and difficult. Prakash and DOP Pankaj Kumar skillfully immerse us in her fractured psyche with oversaturated colors and skewed frames. When Bobby applies lipstick, we see her reflection in three mirrors because she is multiple personalities. The background score by Daniel B. George and sound design by PM Satish and Manoj M. Goswami accentuates this further. Every tremor is amplified and potentially threatening. The memorable R.D. Burman song, Dudhiya Me Logo Ko, is used to great effect. This is Bobby's world, and she demands that we don't measure her by standard yardsticks. There's a lovely moment in which she says with frustration, Artist ho mein, artist. Kangana commits to being Bobby. It's not an effortless performance, but it's a full-bodied one. Kangana has traversed this road often. In her debut film, Gangster, her character Simran commits suicide. Soon after, she played the schizophrenic Sana in Vola Me, who also slits her wrists. And later, Shonali in fashion, a coked-up supermodel who ends up homeless. But unlike these characters, Bobby is fierce. She drives the narrative with her desires and her determination to see justice done. Prakash and Kanika want us to admire the beauty of her singular mind, and Kangana compels us to root for Bobby even when she is at her most impenetrable. If Kangana had faltered, this film would have collapsed, but she admirably stays the course. Rajkumar Rao is a worthy sparring partner. Keshav, like Bobby, is unreliable. Rajkumar layers his performance so we connect with Keshav's exasperation at dealing with Bobby, but we also sense that something's not quite right. There's a real pleasure in watching these terrific actors play off each other. And they have solid support with Satish Kaushik, Brijendra Kala, Amrita Puri and Hussain Dalal, who's really good as Bobby's tragic comic boyfriend. Hindi cinema has an extremely dodgy record of depicting mental illness. Judgmental Hekya comes with an empathetic gaze, which is a big step forward. The ambition of the story, both in content and style, is very exciting. But Kanika's screenplays seem to suffer from the soft belly syndrome. Manmarzia, Kedarnath and now Judgmental Hekya exert a solid grip in the first hour, but in the second, the plotting becomes unsteady. Here the narrative shifts to London, where Bobby goes to be the understudy for Sita in a play which is a reinterpretation of the Ramayana from Sita's point of view. This strand feels more like a convenient plot device rather than an organic development. The thriller aspect gets overshadowed by messaging. In an effort to tie up the narrative strands, the writing also becomes simplistic and eventually the big reveal feels implausible and forced. So judgmental Hekya dips and soars. Like Bobby, the film can be exhausting. But like her, it's also a true blue original. And you should give it a shot. For more reviews like this, subscribe to Film Companion. Don't forget to check out our website, filmcompanion.in. And have you guys registered yet for FC Blockbuster? <laughs>